Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. In today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of this. The MSI B550M Pro VDH with Wi-Fi and 4 socket motherboard. This supports out of the box 3rd gen AMD Ryzen desktop ready is so it says. And um, you know it can support those new 3D chips that uh, are released for the M4 socket platform. So I got this on a deal and it came with uh, 16 gig of DDR4, but you know, we're just doing the unboxing of this motherboard today. See if it might be for you in 2025. So without further ado, let's crack it open and go over some of the feature sets that it has. I'll put the link for this motherboard in the description section below in case you want to check it out. Come on, let's go. This is the MSI B550M, my stands for micro, Pro VDH with Wi-Fi, socket AM4, PCI Express 4.0 ready. Now, before we look at it, well, let's look at some of the specs here. This here has core boost functions for digital power for a multi-core CPU, Gen Lightning, Gen 4 ready, which are also has um, DC and fan pump ready for the inputs on the motherboard. And it says it supports AMD Ryzen 5000 series, 5000G, 4000G, 3000 series, and 3000G processors. This is, of course, the AMD B550 chipset. One PCI Express 4.0 16 slot. It comes with the HDMI and VGA outputs on the board and you have four uh, dims for dual channel ddr4 and you have an expansion slot you have two pci express 3.0 x1 slots it's got storage you have uh, one m2 gen 4 x4 slot up on the top and then you have another m2 gen 3 x4 slot and you have four SATA 6 gigabit ports on the side here. You got seven USB 3.2 Gen 1 and at five gigabits per second, six Type A and one Type C and six USB 2.0. So it's got so many ports. Has a Realtek LAN, gigabit Ethernet, and it supports uh, AMD Bluetooth wireless AC. Bluetooth 4.2 and 8 channel 7.1 HD audio with audio boost. It's got the M2 M.2 shield heatsink for better cooling, or so it says. All right, let's get to this unboxing, shall we? So we can see it in all its glory. Let's see what it looks like and what comes with it. Not really any padding on top here, but other than the cardboard and anti-static bag. Before I crack open the anti-static bag, let's see what's in the box. Two SATA cables. Oh, wow, there's three M.2 screws in this little baggie. In case one, you know, you sneeze and one goes across halfway across the world and you can never find it again. So that's pretty cool. MSI backplate. IO shield, I mean, and you've got your Wi-Fi antennas, small but functional. And then, of course, you've got your MSI quick install guide, how to install the CPU, and the cooler, all the good stuff, and uh, your IO connections and positioning on the board. So. Keep that handy because you might need that when installing the board to find out where to plug in your case I.O. So here we have it out of the static bag, anti-static bag. You got four DDR4 slots here and they're labeled DIM1. In DIM1, they have these two, so you skip one and one for your channels. And it says you want to populate 
this right here, dim two, and over here, I guess, dim four. First, first glance, you know, you've got the AM4 socket, and then we have our heat shield here for our M.2, and down here we have a another M.2 slot, which is a rarity unless you have a higher end board like this for a micro ATX. And you have your heat sink here for your chipset. And then you have your expansion for your PCI Express 3 X1s. And here's your PCI Express 4 X16, your CMOS battery and your headers for your RGB, your system fan, and your system USB expansion. You have a 24 pin power connector here. And of course, up top you have your eight pin ATX power. You have a small but adequate heat sink for VRMs as well. And turning to the side, you have USB 3.0. And then you have four SATA connectors. This is your high speed USB-C here. Turning it to the side further, we'll take a look at the I.O. outputs, inputs connection for video out, but you have to have a uh, CPU that has onboard graphics to be able to support this. And you have a old school VGA as well. We have the HDMI port here and we have a DV, a deep display port out here. Not too shabby. And the system board reset here for convenience. Um, you have your USB, uh, fast USB 3.2 labeled with blue. And then you have your slower speed USB 2.0 here. You also have, um, multi-function keyboard or mouse, uh, PS2 port in case you want a faster input, you want a faster input keyboard, you use that. Here's your Wi-Fi out and your Bluetooth combo. And then your input output for your microphone, speaker, and such. I was calling your so my final thoughts on this MSI motherboard. Well, who is this for? Well, it's definitely not short on features. It's feature rich, in fact. This board is for me because I got it on sale with a deal with some DDR. Um, for RAM and who else would this board be for? Well, if you have a 3000 series CPU and you wanted to just eke along with that and that's good for you for now, it would do just fine. If you wanted to go to the X3D 5000 series for this um, motherboard would also handle that just fine. Or if you had your motherboard break or die and you had a 5000 series chip and you didn't want to do a complete system upgrade to AM5 platform, then this would also be for you. So I will put this motherboard um, in the description section below if, in case you want to check it out and a few other things. Now might be a great time for you to hit the like and subscribe button because it doesn't cost you nothing and it helps me out. Look for this motherboard in a budget to mid-level build coming up soon. You don't want to miss that. So thanks for coming along with me on this unboxing and thanks for watching. Remember this tech.